I'm Steve Hecht, editor-at-large of the Imputy Observer. I'm going to read my most recent op-ed, which is currently on the BizPack review site that you can uh, access on the internet. Kamala Harris sacrifices children and women for political gain. Socialist imposition pushes the vulnerable to the U.S. southern border. Contrary to her acceptance speech claim that her sole client is the people, Kamala Harris is a hand-picked frontman for an amoral, anti-democratic regime. While regime media falsely portray her as caring, regime policies direct people from south of the border straight into the hands of the Mexican cartels that enslave children and rape women. At the White House on March 21st, 2021, Joe Biden put Harris in charge of mitigating illegal immigration at the southern border. He said she was, quote, the most qualified person to do it, unquote. And that, quote, when she speaks, she speaks for me, unquote. Biden compared this to his assignment in the same places when he was vice president. Barack Obama's regime continued under Biden with him as a figurehead and will continue with Harris in that role if she is elected. As Obama's point man in Central America, Biden and the State Department took over Guatemala's justice system. They persecuted their political enemies and imposed radical socialists on Guatemala's government. This has continued under Harris with the same harmful results for Guatemala and the United States. The Biden-Harris regime sent Tara Lee Rodas to help Health and Human Services, quote, reunite children with sponsors in the United States, unquote. The horrors Rodas witnessed led her to testify before a House Judiciary Committee subcommittee on April 26, 2023, as a whistleblower. Rodas described a child trafficking network beginning in, quote, home countries, smuggling to the U.S. border, unquote, and continuing inside the United States. She witnessed abuse of Guatemalan indigenous children who spoke no English or Spanish and who could not denounce abuse. They are put, quote, in modern day slavery with wicked overlords, unquote. Health and Human Services fired Rodas after she made a protected disclosure to the Justice Department's Inspector General about Health and Human Services delivering two minors to the violent MS-13 gang. Rhoda stated in July, the Biden-Harris regime was delivering children to criminal traffickers and members of transnational criminal organizations. She added, quote, the government has become the middleman in a child trafficking operation, unquote. Investigative columnist Sarah Carter wrote in April, that Guatemalan Attorney General Consuelo Porras sent a letter to Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton requesting cooperation in a child sex trafficking investigation. Carter added that Guatemala's Attorney General's office was investigating a complaint alleging minors trafficked into the United States from Guatemala were suffering sexual and physical abuse by U.S. taxpayer-funded NGOs in Texas. Robbie Starbuck interviewed Attorney General Office Secretary General Angel Pineda in May about the office's investigation of child sex trafficking. Pineda mentioned 85,000 children going to the United States, but nobody knows what happened with them. Asked if the Biden-Harris regime had contacted the Attorney General's office about this, Pineda said, the Attorney General Office contacted the U.S. government and received no answer. The Department of Homeland Security Inspector General reported on August 19th that 320,000 migrant children are missing. Pineda added that not working with the Attorney General's Office adversely affects U.S. interests by not combating transnational crime. The Biden-Harris regime had sanctioned Porras and Pineda as corrupt for supposedly persecuting former prosecutors and judges the State Department said had fought, fought corruption. There is overwhelming public evidence of the fired officials' criminality. Pineda told Starbuck 
the United States harbors Guatemalan fugitives and that Interpol has illegally refused to execute international arrest warrants, claiming political persecution. Harris met at the White House on May 19, 2021, with three Guatemalan fugitives and praised them as, quote, justice leaders, unquote. My July 31st op-ed, Kamala Harris's Guatemala Actions Foretell Puppet President, explains the fugitives' crimes. Harris's Guatemala activities degraded the rule of law and promoted immigration, the opposite of her purported objective. Her apparatchiks directed electoral fraud in 2023 to make Bernardo Arevalo president. Former Guatemalan Secretary of Intelligence from 2016 to 2020, Mario Duarte, and Tucker Carlson mentioned the fraud in their discussion about the Biden-Harris regime's assault on Guatemala. On March 25th at the White House, Harris told Arevalo, quote, the United States was proud to stand with you, Mr. President, following a free and fair election throughout your transition, unquote. A Guatemalan civic association stated the Biden-Harris regime, quote, pressured our authorities to ignore the law, to inaugurate Arevalo, and then not remove him from the presidency, unquote. Starbuck told Pineda, that some American media outlets have given numbers as high as 80% of all women and girls who cross the southern border illegally are raped and sexually assaulted. Panetta responded, yes, that is happening. Starbucks said border officials had told him about rape treats. He said at various border points, those who commit rape collect the victim's undergarments and, quote, put them on trees as trophies, unquote. Pineda said before the complaint involving Texas, his office had not had the chance to investigate abuse on the border. He underlined the importance of cooperation from U.S. authorities. Pineda can be sure the regime Harris fronts will never cooperate. U.S. voters need to see images of the tragedies that trafficked children and women have suffered on account of Biden-Harris policies. That will give us a better chance of electing officials who respect the rule of law. To see more, please go to www.impunityobserver.com.